you want to know how to solve problems using Boyle's Law, then this is the video for you. If you're new to Boyle's Law, you might want to check out the first video in the series and then come back to this one. For a fixed amount of gas at a constant temperature, we said that the pressure of the gas multiplied by the volume will always equal a constant. Let's imagine an experiment again where we have a fixed amount of gas inside this container here which has a certain volume. Let's call this one situation 1. Over here we've got the same amount of gas, the same number of particles, but we've squashed it into a smaller volume. Let's call this one situation 2. In this situation we will say that the pressure is equal to, we will just call it P1. Over here we will say the pressure is equal to P2. We will say the volume over here is equal to V1 and the volume over here is equal to V2. Assuming that no gas entered or left either of the containers and that the temperature stayed constant throughout, we know that the pressure times the volume will always equal K. So for us specifically, it means the pressure in situation 1 multiplied by the volume in situation 1 equals a constant K. We don't know what that constant is yet, but that doesn't matter. We also know that the pressure in situation 2 multiplied by the volume in situation 2 must also equal K. Now, if P1 times V1 equals K, and if P2 times V2 also equals K, we don't actually need to find out what K is if we don't want. We can just write it like this. P1 times V1 must equal P2 times V2. They both equal K, so they both must equal each other. And this way of writing it, P1V1 equals P2V2, is the most common way to express Boyle's Law. Here's a question. It says, a gas has a volume of 25 centimetres cubed and a pressure of 100,000 pascals. Now, pascals are the unit for pressure. It's a very, very small unit, so often the numbers used are very, very large. This gas is then squashed into a smaller volume now, 5 centimetres cubed. But without a change in temperature, what is its pressure now? Now, I find it helps in questions like this to draw a quick diagram just so that you know uh, what it is that we're, that we're dealing with, so you can visualise the problem. So here's the gas at first. Pressure 1 is 100,000 pascals. Volume 1 is 25 centimetres cubed. In situation 2, after it's been squashed, the pressure we do not know, the volume we do know is 5 cm cubed. Now, because there was not a change in temperature, that means we can use Boyle's Law. So we know that pressure 1 times volume 1 must equal pressure 2 times volume 2. Now, the one we're actually trying to find out here is pressure 2. So, why don't we write it out like this? Pressure 1 times volume 1 divided by volume 2 will give us the pressure in situation 2. Now, I'm going to write it this way round. So, pressure 2 equals... Well, let's put some numbers in. Pressure 1 is 100,000 pascals. And we're multiplying that by the volume 1, which is 25 centimetres cubed. The whole thing we're going to divide by volume 2, which was 5 cm cubed. Now, if you look at this, you can see that we've got 25 divided by 5 here. So why not just cancel that and write 5 here? Because multiplying by 25 and dividing by 5 is obviously the same as multiplying by 5 keeps the maths easy. You don't have to use a calculator then. So we've got 100,000 times 5, which is obviously 500,000 pascals. So the answer to the question is the pressure in situation 2 is 500,000 pascals. That's it for Boyle's Law. If you're interested in other topics in GCSE Physics, please click on the links you can see now. And also, please do consider subscribing to Physics with Mr. Drew.